What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush video. Today guys, we are going to be discussing the announcement of opening 2 and ending 2 for Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. And I am very excited to be discussing this with you guys. Not only because obviously it's always excited to be hearing that a new opening and ending is going to be coming out for the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, but I'm excited because I'm discussing Go Rush again. It's been a minute since I've done anything for Go Rush on this channel, which if you guys don't know, the last time I did a Go Rush video on this channel was my episode 14 review of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush anime. So yeah, it's been a minute and I do want to start off by apologizing for that, but I'm kind of getting back in the groove of YouTube now I'm trying to settle back down and I'm just very excited to be discussing this with you guys and just to continue discussing not only you know OCG TCG related stuff but also the anime as well so without further ado guys let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into the news so the first thing that we're going to be discussing is, of course, the opening. So the new opening theme is Soul Galaxy, sung by Brandio, who some might know from Flyers, the theme song of Death Parade. And for people that don't know what Brandio is, Brandio is a funk rock group. So two things to know. First off, Soul Galaxy as the title of the opening. I think it's a pretty good opening name. I mean, it makes sense, uh, obviously, with the theme of Go Rush, and obviously we're in space right now as we're trying to travel to Velgear and basically are going to reach Velgear by the end of this arc. It makes a lot of sense for that, and going into Season 2, we expect to be in Velgears trying to end the war between the two clusters. So a name like this, Soul Galaxy, makes a whole lot of sense. The second thing is, of course, the band Brandio, which is the band that will be singing opening two. A very interesting band, to say the least. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I have never heard of this band in my entire life, um, but I did listen to Flyers prior to this video just to kind of get an idea. And from what I heard from that opening and kind of thinking in the context of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush opening, I do think it's a very interesting choice. Um, I enjoyed Flyers from when I listened to it. I think it was a pretty good opening. And it's going to be really cool to see what they do for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush opening 2, as well as to see the new visuals. One of the things that I always love with new openings is that we're going to be getting completely new visuals, which I'm not going to lie, this kind of shows how much I kind of miss where... You know, when we look back at like something like Zexel, for example, we had like six openings in one show, and now we look in the context of like Sevens, Go Rush, and even Vrains for that matter as well, because Vrains only had three openings, and they just do an opening for every season, which I'm not gonna lie, I kind of do miss having multiple openings. Like, don't get me wrong, at the very least, Sevens and Go Rush have been trying to fresh up the openings by changing out the visuals slightly, but I don't know, I would have liked if they actually had a new, like, full opening and not just kind of like a half step where they're just updating the visuals if I'm going to be completely honest but it's just the way they want to do it now you know that's just the new standard so we're just going to have to live with it but I'm very excited to see what this opening has in store I really do hope with this opening that they really do focus on showing a little bit more of the villains one of the biggest disappointments I had with opening one was that I didn't like the fact that they literally showed the villains at the very end of the opening, like literally the last shot is just, you know, Yuyas, Yuki, and Yumu looking up against the new antagonist, and then later on they had the other characters as well, but then you would have the new antagonist group, which, I don't know, I just wasn't the biggest fan of that, and I would just like to see them show off the villains a little bit more in the openings, because I just think it would be so cool if we had some shots of, like, obviously we have our main hero group, and then we get to see the new antagonist of the group, maybe them summon one of their new ace monsters, which, I don't know, I kind of miss that aspect with the opening as well, because I always, one of my favorite things with watching the openings is when you get the to see the new villain of the arc because obviously you're excited to learn about this character but you see them summon their big boss monster and when you're watching you're just thinking what in the world is that like what is that monster like it gets you excited to want to not only see this character and what he's all about but also see his deck and see the big boss monster and what that boss monster can actually do that is some of my favorite aspects when it comes to openings not even just in Yu-Gi-Oh but just in anime in general when seeing like the big bad guys like going into to action and it gives us an idea of what kind of expect but it gets you excited because you want to see more from these characters and they want to see what these characters are fully capable of 
and I want the opening to show that in a sense, but obviously not spoil too much, of course. So that's probably one of the biggest things that I do want to see from this opening, but we're going to have to wait and see. But that's enough discussion on the opening, let's dive right into the ending. The new ending theme is Cosmos, sung by Taichi Mukai, who might be known from Bravest, the last theme song of Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Dai. Mr. Mukai appears to specialize in R&B-infused rock. So, two things. First off, the ending theme name is called Cosmos. Again, a very simple name that obviously fits the concept of Go Rush in space and all that. Love the name, I do think it is a great ending name. As for the band, or more just the singer, it's just one person singing this, Tachi Makai, who did Bravest. Now, I have never heard of Bravest in my life, I'm going to be completely honest, nor have I heard anything from this artist. But I'm going to be honest, after listening to Bravest and Flyers, I will say this, out of the two, I'm actually excited in terms of song ways for Tachi Mukai because I'm not gonna lie compared to those two I actually liked Bravest slightly more than Flyers not saying that Flyers was bad far from it I still thought it was a very good opening but I'm not gonna lie the like the whole like tone of Bravest was just so good and especially kind of thinking in that in the concept of an ending makes me very excited I do like kind of like the more mellowed down like kind of like softer tone music uh, kind of an example of this is on um, Black Clover ending 13 which if you have never heard of that ending I highly recommend checking it out on um, beautiful I believe is the name of it my god, it is one of the best endings that I have ever listened to in my entire life, which Black Clover is just known for having a lot of good openings, and even endings for that matter. I do think some people do sleep on the endings quite a bit, but I'm just going to be honest. If it's something like Beautiful, even like Bravest, it makes me, in terms of like lyric-wise and in terms of song-wise, it makes me very excited to hear this ending, especially if it's as soft as those two um, different songs but in terms of visuals because obviously that's another aspect to look into it nothing really much to say in terms of visuals I don't really expect too much from the visual side just because of the fact that you know the ending visuals don't really matter that much especially since it's just towards the end I feel like when it comes to the endings the song is more important than the visuals because let's be honest most visuals these days for endings it's just either a character just walking or it's just screenshots and that's really it especially in the context of Yu-Gi-Oh they just most of the time use screenshots or just a character walking so I don't really expect that much in terms of the visuals for the ending but I'm very excited to see what the ending song is going to be all about. But with that being said, guys, that is going to be it for this Go Rush discussion. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the announcements of opening 2 and ending 2 and your guys' thoughts on the band that's going to be doing it. And just a fun question that I'm very curious on. Let me know if you guys have ever watched Death Parade or Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die because I'm going to be completely honest. I have never watched either of these two animes. I've heard of both of them before prior to this, but I've never had any interest of actually watching them. So if you have watched these two animes, let me know your guys' thoughts on the two animes. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on that, as well as obviously the announcement of the opening and ending down below. But with that being said, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, guys, take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day.